So recently, there's a lot of talk about quiet quitting. So what is quiet quitting? Quiet quitting is becoming a trend. So quiet quitting refers to a situation where employees maintain the bare minimum level of effort to retain their jobs without making any additional contributions to their employer. This behavior can manifest as reluctance to actively participate in meetings, lack of willingness to take on additional tasks, and refusal to work beyond regular hours. Additionally, it may lead to increased absenteeism. So why are people quiet quitting? So there are many reasons why, like for example, you can get burned out or maybe you're just not getting paid enough. So quiet quitting is a way of dealing with burnout. An organization and a behavior expert tells GQ magazine, burnout is a big risk in the workplace, especially among younger generation Z professionals in their professionals age in their 20s. Burnout is a big risk in the workplace, especially among younger Generation Z professionals age in their 20s. Research shows that a survey of 30,000 workers by Microsoft showed that about 54% of Gen Z workers are considering quitting their jobs. So question is, is this a trend? I don't know, you tell me, because I'm not in a generation. <laughs> According to a Gallup survey conducted in June 2022 among workers age 18 and above, it was found that quiet quitters likely constitute at least 50% of the U.S. workforce and possibly more. This phenomenon appears to be particularly prevalent among workers under the age of 35, as reported by Gallup. So Gallup reached this conclusion by employing a series of questions related to worker engagement, which is defined as the degree of involvement and enthusiasm that employees have for their work and workplace. The survey results revealed that only 32% of workers display signs of actively being engaged while only another 18% are disengaged. Now, this openly expressed their dissatisfaction with their jobs, which makes sense. Gallup posted that the remaining 50% could fall into the category of quiet quitters. Individuals who are not notably engaged in their work but did not openly convey their disinterest. If these statistics hold true, then that would mean that a significant 68% of American employees have some level of discontentment with their jobs. Now the question is, the golden answer is how do we fix quiet quitting? The first way to fix this issue is to give your employees autonomy. This means letting your employees make decisions without constant oversight. Like, I'd say like you have people constantly breathing down your neck and telling you what to do, if you don't agree with it, you try to make share your thoughts and ideas, and they blow you away, they write you up, they report you to the HR. This can really hurt the morale of a company. So possible scenarios, you can regularly sit down with your team members to discuss how can they contribute, let them showcase their abilities, and offer continuous feedback. Another way is to prevent toxic work culture, meaning to lead by example, setting the tone for the company culture, ensure that leaders and managers exhibit their behavior that you want to see as an employee, such as respect, you have fairness, and professionalism. So if you encourage open and honest communication at all levels, the most important thing is having zero tolerance for harassment, because implementing a strict zero tolerance policy for harassment, discrimination, and bullying, enforcing this policy consistently and without acceptations In the end, preventing and fixing quiet quitting is about being proactive and taking control of your own happiness at work. It's about realizing that that the time that people spend a significant chunk of their lives at their jobs, so why not make it as enjoyable as possible? Personally, my own opinion is quiet quitting, it's it's gonna be a trend because a lot of people have to deal with work and they possibly do not like their jobs. For example, if you work in major corporations, you're looking at Facebook, Google, Microsoft, then you maybe look at like gaming companies such as Blizzard. You have a lot of political views over in those workplaces. When you have those political views, then you're gonna have issues and problems. When you have an idea, people might not respect your idea. They might see it as a threat. A lot of people said this type of workplace where people constantly check and balance each other works really well to be proactive. In a case, there are two sides of the equation, and personally, 
if you do not own the place or do not own the company, then you are at the mercy of your employer or whoever is basically writing up the survey report by the end of every month or every quarter every year. As people work in big fours or big corporations, they have these surveys and it's really hurting to the morale. So it's basically survival of the fittest. And if you don't like that, then you have really no other choice. And most people are now doing what majority of the new millennial generation, Gen Z in this case, just quiet quitting. So let me guys know your thoughts down below. Make sure you click the subscribe button down below and the like button. And I hope you guys have a nice day. See you guys next time.